What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and this is just going to be a laid back Halloween style vlog. I'm going to show you a Halloween inspired cocktail recipe. I'm going to make some cookies. We're going to make a pumpkin and not a traditionally carved pumpkin but a little more of a decor pumpkin and probably watch a scary movie and I think that's mostly going to be it. I love this time of year, I love Halloween, and I just love the spooky vibes that it brings. So that's what we're doing today and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so we're gonna make a cocktail and it's called the Black Widow. I will leave the recipe and where I got it from down in the description box. I'm not gonna follow the recipe exactly, but it's definitely where the inspiration came from, so gotta give credit where credit is due. This glass has been in the freezer. It does give a cool effect, and I don't think you can probably see it that well, but because it's been frozen, you see kind of like, steam is not the right word. I don't know what the right word would be. It's not steam, but you can see it coming around and that's what makes it like Halloween, I guess. So let's make this cocktail. Alright, so this is the Black Widow. I hope you can tell well on camera. It kind of starts super dark or black at the bottom. And then as it goes up, it's supposed to get lighter in color. But the real test is a taste test. So let's try it out. That is delicious. I have to try it again. Ten out of ten. I am truly not just saying this. I wasn't sure. I'm not a huge blackberry person. This is so so good. I'll make sure to leave the recipe down below again. This is not my recipe. It was inspired by someone else's. I'll leave their information down there so you can check them out. This is so good. Ten out of ten. Okay, so now I am just going to make some cookies to throw in the oven and I am going with the lazy root this time. These are obviously just the box cookies, but I'm going to lay these out and get them on the pan. They're these adorable ghost cookies and I thought they were perfect. So now I am just going to go ahead and put some paper over my dining room table to prep my space for carving the pumpkin. It can obviously make a big mess, so anything you can do to prepare your workspace is a good decision. All right, so it is finally time to carve this pumpkin up. We are not gonna do like a typical jack-o'-lantern this is sort of a home decor channel, so we're gonna we're gonna carve her in a pretty way. Clearly, I've got the drill out, so I'm going to slice the top open to make a top and start gutting her. I am not a professional. I think I've only done this once before, so we're gonna do our best.
So we are ready to start creating our pumpkin. I am obviously going to use a drill. It would help if I tightened it to do a design. And I have different drill bits here. I have this larger one. I have another size. I actually have a whole little kit of them here. And I'm not going to draw a pattern on it. I'm just going to kind of free form it. Um, but essentially it's going to be circles in some type of pattern so that way when we put the candle in it does like a not a disco ball effect but it gives off little beams of light on like a traditional jack-o-lantern that just has one distinct shape. I have my larger holes drilled. I cleaned my drill bit off. I'm just going to take it out and exchange for probably one of these. And then I will end with this little one to fill in some details. I'm just going to continue to kind of go with the flow with my pattern. Like I said, I really didn't have a specific plan. So I'm going to switch the drill bit out and keep going. Okay, so I am done drilling all of these holes. It looks quite messy from what you can see, so I'm going to clean the exterior up. I have to slice this bit off, and this really created quite a mess. I have everything over here in this bag. I'm actually going to look it up because I think they say you can leave pumpkin in the woods for the wildlife. I think pumpkin is generally supposed to be very safe for animals to eat and it's way better than wasting it. So I'm going to look that up and make sure that that is true before I do it. Otherwise, I'm going to clean this pumpkin up and then we're going to light it and see what she looks like. I think we're probably going to watch a movie now and the Halloween Kills is streaming on one of the apps so I love those movies the the Halloween movies in general I'm such an avid fan of the original ones so when they were making this reboot I had to see them I've seen a couple clips and obviously the little trailer and it looks scary so I am definitely excited to see how this turns out. I think the final installment in, I think it's a series of three, comes out next Halloween, so I'll definitely have to see that one as well. I did already see the first one, so I'm pretty excited. I think I'm going to have some cookies, enjoy my little decor jack-o'-lantern here, and just watch this for the night. and. I think that's pretty much going to be it. I've had snacks, um, made cocktails, did a pumpkin, what's left to do but watch a scary movie. So I am going to do that. I hope you all enjoy your Halloween and I'll see you next time.